Hey, I'm Freddy. I'm at uh, Gentleman's and Road, and I'm getting a haircut. Yeah. Sweet. Well, what we're doing with uh, Freddy's hair is uh, what I'd say the poster over there, as the people over in Scordham, they call it executive contour. But we're going to go for a bit more of a messier, surfier version. So what he wants, he wants it a little bit longer on the back and sides than the poster. So we're going to have like a two, two and a half around the ears and around the bottom of the neck. And we're just going to blend our way up. We're going to have like a slight parting on the right side and then just lots of messy texture flicking over to the left. Let's do this. So what I'm going to do is instead of using guards, I'm going to be using the wall cordless clippers. And uh, instead of using any guards, I'm just going to use my matador comb. I know that this comb, if I hold this flat to his head, it's a grade two. So the more I angle the comb out, the longer the hair's going to get. Like that, as such. So I will be removing all of this weight. Exaggerating the comb as I go up the head, just pull more and more out and remove. I'm going to do this all around the head. As I make my way from the side of the head to the back of the head, I tilt my comb down to curve itself around the occipital burn. This technique I actually picked up in the uh, old school of barbering, which is taught by the Squaran boys over in Rotterdam. So it's only right to do one of their haircuts by using one of their techniques. Just going back and forth, and as I run the spine of the comb up his head, I just over exaggerate out, doing like a curve in motion. So what I've just swapped out, swapped out to you now, as I've got my uh, my one guard, and I've just fully opened. And I'm just flicking the back of the neck. And you just, to, just to make it a little bit neater and a little bit sharper. And then I'm just going to close it and do the exact same. As you can see, where I did the clipper over comb, there's like this weight line right around here. And then it dips down with the bone. I'm just going to do some scissor over comb, keeping that static blade. So only moving the thumb more efficient, more control, and I'm just going to scissor over again. Because he's going for a little bit of a, he doesn't, doesn't want to go as short as the executive contour. So we're going for like a bit of a longer, messier version. As I work up the head, instead of like a clipper over comb, I kept the spine of the comb to the head. This time I'm actually pulling away because I want to keep some length. So that weight line is slowly disappearing. And we're getting a new weight line now up here, which I will connect the top with. So now, moving on to the top, I'm just going to connect the top and the sides and remove any of that excess weight that I've left here. You start seeing the shape of the haircut now as we're getting closer to the end. See so yeah, where I scissor over combed and the left of that bit longer. I can now pick up the hair with my fingers. And there it is. There's the shortest point. There's the there's the longest point, and I just need to connect this gap in between. Well, you, you've done being the man in front of the camera. Now you're the man behind the camera. No, I'm still doing both. Yeah. Are you going to be? Are you going to seem to be the man telling the man that's holding the camera what to do? The director. No. I see it was more of a, um, I think everyone has their own uh, cutting techniques. I, uh, I really enjoy my freehand. So like that clipper over comb, that was quite like a, you do that by eye. Or well, when it comes to guards, you put your guard on 
and you take it to a certain level and then you just follow that level all the way around the head. Whereas that clipper over came, it was, I'm gonna take it up here, now I'm gonna take it down there, and I'm gonna take it at this angle, and I'm gonna take it at that angle. It's just, that's more by eye, I think. Everyone has their own, their own methods. Probably not gonna be taking too much off the fringe on Freddy's hair. Only because you wanna leave that a bit longer. For him to spike up and make it more messy and surfer dude. I've now swapped from club cutting to point cutting. Add some texture in there. So what I'm doing here is because I left it that little bit too long, which is always, I feel like it's a, it's a good thing. Better, take it, better have it too long than too short. Because you can always go back and take it a bit shorter. Oh, no, back, so. Can't, it can't. I've tried giving her a shot, try and gluing her back on it, never really worked. Same thing with cooking, if you put too much salt, you can't take it back. Exactly. So do it a bit at a time, never just do it in one big go. Thank so now I'm just again. adding yeah, some more texture, care. so I'm point cutting, and as I pull out from the hair, I close the scissors, like that. All this does is add texture, removes weight. Are you German too? Yeah, yeah. Salt spray. Make sure you get it in at those roots for it to hold. It's quite loud. So I'm going to cut this area here. I need a point cut. And apart from that, they were sitting quite nice. How's that length, man? Is it a little bit too long? Is that cool? Sweet. So now that now that we've dried his hair off, and it's taken the we've got the desired length. There's just a couple of finishing touches I want to make. There's like a weight line here where the top meets the, the sides, this little weight line. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my shears, gonna balance it on my three fingers, and I'm gonna do this motion. Basically what this is doing, as I pull out, I'm gonna close my scissors again. All this does is it just breaks up that line. Now down here, where it dips down with the bone, I can just see that there's a little bit of weight there that I just want to take out. At the end of every haircut, I just like to have a good look around the head and see what I do and don't like about it. See if I can change it up. I'm actually gonna to swap to my, my Jack Dean comb. It's a little bit finer than the, the Matador comb. Just means I can get in there that little bit more. and around this side of the ear. I'm actually gonna go even that little bit finer. I'm gonna use my wall cone. Now this cone is just that little bit finer than that cone now. So I'm getting smaller and smaller in cones, combs. The reason I'm going that little bit smaller is because around, around the ear, I just wanna get in that real nice and tight. I think that's what makes the difference between most barber shops is that at the end of the haircut some people just go yep that's good enough away he goes whereas if there's a little blemishes customers are going to like other like the customers his mates are going to see that you want to make sure you do a good job so he comes back and then his mates come here and 
It's these little adjustments that can make a big deal. Sweep, so you can see how I've got that grade two around the edge and we just blend our way up. And I've taken it down to like a one and a half. Nice one. Sweet. Let's get some wax. I'm using this uh, Layerite cream, matte cream. What I like to do is really, again, get it in those roots. That's all that matters, really, get it in those roots. I actually get a little bit more. Side on the hair like this can really like show how much texture I put in there. To get that more messier version of the executive contour. Sweet, bro. Perfect. Yeah, we are, man. Yeah. Best looking surgeon down south. Let's go and wash my hands. Now that you've made it to the end of the video, go ahead and treat yourself to some fine beard brand products over on our shop. If you're not already a subscriber, be sure to do that. And finally, keep on watching some more of our awesome videos.